And here we go. Welcome back to the second half of our pool match for Indonesia in the red from running from right to left. Playing against Sri Lanka in the green with the kickoff gone out on the fall. So not a great start there by the Indonesian side. So just just allowing the Sri Lankans back into to where they left off in the first half at the score being 26 points to nil. Sri Lanka leading. So uh, Indonesia just just at the moment just look at their formation at the moment the, the, you may not see on the screen but they seven on the line with no sweepers so not sure if Sri Lanka can actually see that deficiency by maybe putting the kick behind maybe they don't need to and quite confident enough to have the ball in hand as they're just showing just straight down the outside there and just pure pace great skills to get the ball out wide and here he is again underneath the post for another five pointer so maybe that's what they're going to be doing and I suppose they've got to Look at playing different aspects of their game. And part of those aspects of the game is to try as much as you can, especially when you're leading at that, uh, at that score at half time. So great try by Sri Lanka. As I, as I indicated earlier on, the Indonesians are all flat up there, all seven players in that attack, defensive line with no sweepers. So. And here we go, right around the outside, just pure speed, just great skills to get the ball out wide and then Sri Lanka have got pace like that. So when you've got pace to burn as such, why not use it? Oh, great takeoff there. Good kickoff from Dissanayaka, putting pressure on the jumper. Okay, I've sorted out the two mullets during half time. Pereira's eight and Kamara's one. So Indonesia again have had their chances on attack. Ball just breaking down. There's uh, Vegas Sawam manages to straighten things up. And the rangy figure of uh, Florian Busi. So we'll. Quick restart here, and here's Kamara again to the fellow mullet, Pereira. We've got a hand drawn number 11 there, that's Debare. And away they go down the outside again, it's uh, Nigel Ratwate, I think, who goes into the corner. Good try from him. Very emotionless, though, the Sri Lankans, not uh, playing with joy and the joie de vivre that we've seen them play with in the past. Using a French word there for you, Dino, because I know you're excited about that French game in uh, Hong Kong today. Yeah, well, I suppose um, I suppose with the Sri Lankans, I suppose they think they, well, they know that still got a few more days to try and get to what they want to be doing. So maybe they're just out there and said, let's just do the simple things and do the simple things right. So which they have, and, and it's a great. I think it's a great display of sevens are playing here. It's a great for all the viewers to see what you should be doing in these conditions. Uh, and it's taking them out to the score at 33 points to nil and because of those factors. And there's old uh, Gareth Rai, the coach of Indonesia. Sure, he's got a lot on his mind as well. 72 points at the moment that they've conceded and, uh, in a game in three quarters. But uh, they've been plucky and competitive. I like this guy, Ari. He hasn't put a foot wrong. And, you know, they've come to play. Look at them playing very positively. There's Ari again, just a great link man. Down the outside to Sawam who has a brilliant first name, Vegas. We love that. Nothing risky in his play, though. We enjoy p watching Marco Sebastian playing as well. Gutsy young figure. The ball spills out into touch, though. I think the assistant referee is having a bit of trouble judging who got the last touch on that. He's given the ball to the Indonesians, so another chance for them to attack. Here's Sebastian, he's ready to go. stationing himself on the wing. Indonesians get it, it's Florian. Oh, almost an intercept there for a Sri Lanka though. Bit of frustration. Well, I think this uh, next deciding game in Pool C is shaping to be a beauty between the Philippines and Sri Lanka. And I think if I was coach Chucky from the uh, Philippines, I'd be looking at uh, the forward pack for Sri Lanka, maybe seeing if there's some advantages I can take from the matchups. 
Philippines full of some big strong runners so they may want to take Sri Lanka on up the middle. Yeah, well, that's what it's looking like at the moment. Sri Lanka's definitely come with a team of pace, that's for sure. There's Busi again, he busts it up. Good support again from Sebastian. Good skills from the chunky young forward. The flying man on the outside is Didikus Ria, the man they call Marcus. So again, some good plucky play here from Indonesia. They're not embarrassing themselves at all naive in the ways of sevens in the Sri Lankans that's for sure but uh, giving them a real game here as we enter the final stanza of this match and was that uh, Surya Bandara playing in the number 12 jersey today I think it could be, judging by the beautiful sil silky skills. And that's a great try to put the icing on the cake. It's uh, Mutunantri, I think, who's been awarded the try. Just brilliant to watch, Mike. There. If you notice throughout the thing, Sri Lankan first and second half. There wasn't much ball into contact. They seem to be keeping that ball alive. And, and it's difficult to defend when the ball is offloaded pre-contact area and you're running it from the defence, chasing fresh air. So Kamara slides it off the side of his foot, and that's the end of the game. So pretty impressive performance from the Sri Lankans. Gifted athletes, that's for sure. Just think uh, Indonesia showed glimpses of the fact that if you take them on up front and uh, try the physical side of the game, the Sri Lankans may be taken advantage of later in this tournament. Let's see what happens, how it pans out. In the meantime, it's